So before I was going out of town to work, this town here is cloudy, freezing rain. It was quite horrible. Over there, it was like clear night. I wish I had a camera. I wish I had something I could take a picture with. So I was always thinking to have some travel size equipment that I can take with me. But I wanted this gear that I wanted to build to be budget friendly. I don't want it to be too expensive. I want it to be uh, lightweight, portable, travel friendly. I wanted that to be light pollution friendly, even if it is middle of downtown, crowded cities, no matter what, I should be able to take a good picture using that equipment. So I'm thinking of multiple configurations. That's why I was thinking of budget friendly. So the one that I'm going to work with today is the cheapest one of all. So if you can see it, this is my telescope. It has a built-in focuser and a built-in f-stop. So this is Canon 50mm stepper motor lens. It's called STM lens 50mm. And I'll show you how to work with this one. In order to test this equipment, I'm planning to use Celestron AVX mount at home. But for travel, either I wanted to use the iOptron Sky Tracker Pro or Skywatcher Star Adventurer. I haven't decided which one. If you have any preference, please do let me know. There is a free tool called APT astrophotography tool you can download and install most of the camera drivers are already there you can just connect there is a button called live view and if you click on live view it actually shows the live view of the Orion that I was looking at you can also set your cameras ISO whether you wanted a raw and JPEG or just the raw pictures and your camera f-stop, you can set f1.8 or f2 or f4. In my case, I used f4 to keep the stars round in the corner. You don't need to go to the camera to change that. Also, when you zoom into the live view, and if you go to a star, and you can access your lens control and make tiny focus adjustments. If you set your camera to manual focus, you can actually change the focus. This is the best way to focus your stars rather than looking at the camera's LCD. So you can use your computer to you know, zoom into the star, make sure you can make a perfect focus for your star. I was surprised by the stepper motor lens how perfect it can actually focus it and you know it has a dual speed control when you go to the camera and plan you can set your sequence so in this case i just used a test sequence for 45 seconds exposures at iso 1600 and i took raw plus jpeg just to see how the pictures are going to look like. So when I looked at the picture, I saw a beautiful Orion, but it is all the way on top of my frame. The stars looks pretty round though. I was amazed by how this tiny lens can keep the stars round and focused. So I have a go-to mount right now, uh, but if I don't have a go-to, if I end up using the star tracker, like either the iOptron or the SkyGuider, this step I have to do manual. It started taking pretty good pictures. This camera, Canon EF lens 50mm 1.8 is 
really a low priced $99 lens and actually even though it is 50 mm since I'm using the APS-C sensor this is 80 mm so it actually is closer to the stars than the wide angle 50 mm. A lot of photographers use this camera lens for taking product photography you know, wedding, commercial shoots. The STM lens is pretty quiet. So in the live video, you don't hear any motor sound or anything like that. If you like this video, please make sure click on the subscribe button and notifications button. Thanks for watching.